Hi, my name is Martin James Bartlett and this is my masterclass on holiday in Paris. We are now looking at A Holiday in Paris, which is a piece by William Gillock and it's marked as gaily and with whimsy. Therefore, I think this is the piece that you can really show your fun side and really just enjoy all of these beautiful phrases. This piece is full of crescendos and diminuendos, which I think is very important to show all the shaping of the phrase. So in the first phrase, it starts piano, but there is a crescendo that leads halfway through this third bar and then drops down again. Then the next phrase has another crescendo. I would perhaps, it's not marked, but it's a nice, in, interesting interpretative thing to do, is do the second crescendo a little bit more, just to show that we're going somewhere different the second time. So we've done those two first phrases, which it's very important to make sure your right hand is as legato as possible, so we have no bumps along the way, and the left hand is just very quietly supporting underneath. At this point, we have a, our first ever rest in the right hand, which is very important to show, to breathe with your hand, to show the new phrase, but also to lift off the pedal. We need a slight gap in the melody to show this um, next motif. If I were you, I would grade the decrescendos uh, similar to the way we graded the first crescendos. Therefore the first one I would perhaps do a little more, the second one a little less, and then the third one even less. And that gives a bigger contrast for the next section which as we know starts MF. So it's a slightly different character. It's a little bit more boisterous in the right hand whereas the left hand still has that beautiful melody. So we start slightly louder and then a little quieter and then even quieter. And then we come to the next character, which is in the right hand at the first crotchet is marked with a tenuto and a staccato, which is a slightly bizarre marking. But what I think it means is that it's pushed into the key, but also lifted. So it's not a staccato that's just pecked or sort of plucked. It's actually pushed into the key. And then in the following bar, we have staccatos on their own. So I think it should be contrasting. And again, grade these crescendo in the left hand the same as we did at the beginning. The first one quite small, the second one bigger, the third one as it rises up the piano, really reaching a peak at this F here. And then we have a poco writ. I find this next section is very important to understand how we're going to pace all of these tempo changes which happen. So we have a poco writ that then leads to a pause. Then after that pause in bar 23, I would start the quavers in the right hand quite quietly so that we can have a little crescendo. Now this crescendo, unlike any of the others, I don't think leads anywhere. It just rises up and then we start our tempo with the original theme but just with a beautiful colour, perhaps even more special than the first time. Pause and I might lift off the hands and then start quietly. Now I've done that in slightly slow motion, so let me show you how it would work when we're doing at the performance tempo.
there we have a different colour that we need to explore. We suddenly have this accidental in the left hand, this F sharp. So really enjoy that left hand and, and give it some warmth. notice I actually showed a left hand melody that isn't really written to be shown but I think it's something very beautiful and will help the phrase move on. To show that G, F, E. And this is a real point where we've reached a moment that we don't know quite what's going to happen next. So really enjoy the expansion that happens in this writ, because we stretch our hand across the keyboard and we cover a, a much bigger area of the keyboard than we've ever covered before in this piece. Therefore, it has a slightly different meaning. And I would say to lift the pedal off at this point, and then we start our tempo with this section that's marked delicately. So really, we don't want any noise of the fingers, you know, we don't need any... None of this clarity, we just need it to be a wash of sound. And then, we have to change the pedal. We have one long pedal through that section. change the pedal and start with a different colour. This is a little bit more mysterious, this colour. And then it says rather quickly to the end. So I would have a bit of fun and, and just gently race up the keyboard. So make sure that you take care in shaping all of your crescendos in this piece because they all go somewhere, apart from that little pesky one at the bottom of the page, which actually grows and then suddenly you pull the carpet away and have, with a twinkle in your eye, come back to this beautiful colour. And make sure you have fun. This ending is so much fun and it's written with real joy. So show that to whoever you're playing it for. <laughs>